All right, welcome everyone. My name is K. Michael Russell. I am a comic book colorist, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So the video today is going to be different from what I've done the last few. Uh, this is my first time trying my uh, new setup with the iPad and a new camera that I have. So we're getting really high tech here. So this is uh, you guys are seeing a uh, this is actually a screen capture from my iPad. I'm capturing that on my desktop with a program called A PowerSoft. A PowerSoft is one word apparently. And so we've got that and I also have my the new uh, camera here which I'm really not going to use this much. There's a couple things I want to show you guys that are you know, some gestures and things you can do. And so we've got that if I need it. So this is the cover for uh, this is a variant cover for Postal number 24 and it's an homage to Witchblade if you're familiar with Witchblade. Uh, there was an old Witchblade cover back in the 90s and then it was homaged again by a different Top Cow book later and we're homaging it. <laughs> homaging? Is that a word? We're doing another one for Postal number 24 and this is actually the first cover that I did completely on the iPad. Uh, Pro so I figure what we would do is kind of walk through it and there's also some features in procreate That will let us time-lapse this forward and back or even slow it down in real time Which is kind of interesting. So I thought we would take a look at that I don't I don't think I've actually seen that on the tutorial. So we'll we'll, we'll see if we can figure that out so first off we'll just go through the layers here, so I'm going to turn all of this stuff off and then I'm going to show you guys how you can actually watch this happen yourself on your own iPad if you have one. Alright, so let's get rid of all of this stuff. Where are the inks? Right there. To start off with, we just have the inked pages here and there's some fire that Isaac the artist uh, drew this actually did and I did some blur effects to make it look a little bit less digital but that's actually uh, mostly him there. We got our flats. This was all done on a pretty tight deadline so Isaac actually did these flats themselves and the base colors were correct because he knows this character. He's only drawn her a couple of hundred times probably. So the first thing I did with this particular image was put a multiply layer. So you can see this layer 8 over here on the bottom right. That is a uh, multiply layer. It's just a light kind of purpley color. And Procreate has introduced mask recently. And so everything you're seeing here that I'm toggling off and on is actually, let me zoom up so you guys can see this a bit better. But everything you're seeing here is just on the mask. Okay. So if I toggle this off and on, it's just varying levels of that mask coming through, right? And then there is a another layer. This is in hard light mode. That was a really bright yellow. And again, I colored on the mask on that so you can see all the little areas there. Here, here we go. You can see that better. So you can see all the places where those highlights are. And there was, that was uh, just a hair layer that was there in the inks. Just changed the color of those little wispy hairs on the end there. We've got this kind of rim light around the back pretty straightforward and then at the bottom you guys can see I've got this kind of a bluish shadow going across the bottom of the screen uh, whoops the right one and just to help frame you know the character's face there more glowy stuff I did realize there wasn't quite enough so we did more of that more glowy stuff on top of that and then the signature down there at the bottom you guys can see that so there's really when you break it down into the number of colors used in this image there's really only a handful of colors because let's turn all the rest of this on there was also a you see that red in her hair because I was thinking you know if the fire is behind her then you'd actually see that through her hair so I've got that just a red it's just straight red on overlay basically 
So that's kind of a quick run through on the layers. So I'm going to show you guys something else that Procreate has built in. I'm going to leave this zoomed up a bit just so you guys can see this better. So when you hit the little uh, wrench symbol for the settings up there at the top left, there's a time lapse replay. And now this image is going to start already flatted because I imported the, the PSD file with the flat. So you're going to see the flats first and then see it build up from here. So I'm going to get this started. And you can see that starting to go there. But the neat thing about this is it's not actually a video file. So while this is playing, I can actually zoom up. And you can see the things coming in on her hair. You can see the face coming in. And I can move this around and as I move around the image you can actually watch all this stuff happen because it's just recording the strokes it's not recording a video now the other thing you can do with this if you have the, the procreate file itself is you can stop it I'm going to show this on the camera actually so if I go to the camera if I put my finger on this it's going to pause and I can rewind what is happening on the screen okay or I can move it back and you can see all that stuff happening this way. You can get down here and get out of the way of the face. So you can see that going away. You can actually go through each stroke as it happens. Now this is actually built into the Procreate file itself, which I thought is fascinating. So if I share this file, you can actually watch all of this happen. And again, as, as I jump around the image, I can move this around as it's playing and like let's say I want to see, let's see what's coming up here. I want to see how I did that glowing thing up there. Then I can just hold down the screen and back that up. Alright, so I'm going to let this play again. I'll let you guys see this uh, on the actual screen. It should look a lot better. <laughs> you can see I spent a whole lot of time on the nose there. If I back up here. You can see me making mistakes and trying different things, and as I go back and forth. So I don't know, I think this is a pretty cool little educational tool. And I'm going to start putting these on my Patreon account. So this one, uh, this one's actually already up. So in addition to the Photoshop files, you can see the actual strokes get made if you have Procreate on an iPad, which I thought was pretty cool. So I'm just going to let this play out and show you guys how it finishes, but you can actually see here at the bottom, so when I first put in right about here, you see I've got that kind of reddish shadow that pops in at the bottom right there. I realized that wasn't a good color, it kind of came out kind of green actually. So I ended up, if you go forward, I ended up changing that to blue, and I think that worked out a lot better. And there you have it. And so if there's any single part of the image that you wanted to go back and see, like for example, I can go up to the hair here and just roll back on the video. And then I can go forward. You can see all those layers happen. And of course you can always just go back to the original and toggle the layers as well to see what's going on there. So overall, I was really happy with how this page came out. It's probably my favorite color that we've done. I did it in, the other thing that surprised me about it is when I went to check, if you go to Canvas information up here in the actions, there's Canvas information. You guys can actually see how long the video is, how long it took. Now, it's tracking time that I've played around on this since, but when I first opened up this file, or finished this file, I had only spent 53 minutes, I think, on this particular image, but you've got your, your video file size, the number of layers, layers used, the strokes made, 1700 strokes were made, uh, image file, like I said, dimensions, all this stuff, and track time. And like I said, that track time has actually gone up since I've played around this with some more in the app, but I uh, did the entire cover in about an hour, and I'm still just really impressed with how much control that I've got with the Apple Pencil in this and I was really really pleased with how this one turned out. So I realize this one has been kind of a different video than 
what you guys normally see. But if you have questions, feel free to use uh, the comment section for that. And if you want to dig into this file, like I said, in uh, Procreate if you have it, I'll also put the PSD file up on Patreon soon as well. And you won't be able to do the time lapse stuff, obviously. That's strictly a feature of Procreate. But if you want to get in here and play around with it, be sure to check that out. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this stuff. So uh, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.